Hey y'all, it's a beautiful day today. So um, what I'm doing today is I'm doing some more crate training outside. You can see the puppies, they are right over here in their pen. They've been playing, so mostly right now they're just napping in the sun, which is one of their favorite things to do. Um, so I just wanted to come on here and talk a little bit about crate training. Summer and Addie's puppies for these litters have been definitely the most challenging that I've had so far with crate training. So I wanted to kind of go into a little bit more detail about how I do crate training and then also um, give you some more tips as you bring your puppy home of what I'm doing right now to help you. So first thing is that whenever they are introduced into the crate, you saw this in my past videos, I always have the crate out whenever they're playing outside. That way they know it's a safe place. I always have like a blanket or something in there. That way they know it's a safe place. They can go in there. They can lay down, take a nap. They can play and that sort of thing. So they're already introduced to the crate. After that, that's going to be a whole group. So then we're going to have the entire litter sleeping in the crate. So that could be normally just a quick nap, that sort of thing. And then after that, then we start doing more individual sessions. Those more individual sessions are going to be um, not as long. They're going to be very periodic. Um, and then after that is when they are finally going to have their night that they are um, away from the other puppies and they are by themselves. And then that is the night before they go home. So. Um, what I've been doing is I've been doing a little bit more treat based because they're really having a hard time soothing themselves. They kind of get into the crate and they kind of freak out when they're by themselves. So some do's and don'ts with crate training. The first thing you want to do is make sure they're not going to be encouraged to have an accident in the crate. Um, it happens. It will with puppies, but the best thing you can do is try to make sure that you don't encourage that. So. First thing you're gonna have in there, you're not gonna have a full towel, you're not gonna have a full blanket, you're not gonna have any of that because I guarantee you that's just going to make them want to go to the bathroom. So get yourself a dish towel or a hand towel. Single one, it won't cover the entire crate, this is all they need. It will be something soft they can lay on, but it's not going to encourage them. Also have something that's either washable or that you can throw away because there's always a risk of an accident, but make sure it's more of a hand towel or a dish towel. And then when they're in there, you can have their favorite toy in there. For the most part, whenever I put a toy in there, sometimes they play with it, sometimes you don't. So absolutely put in a toy if they have a favorite toy. But make sure that you have something that they can chew on. Otherwise, they're going to chew on the grate, um, on the wire, so on the crate. So make sure that you have either a teething ring. This is actually one that I broke in half or a teething stick. Make sure that you have something in there that they can chew on or otherwise they're going to start chewing on other things, which you don't want. So, something that I'm doing when I'm putting them in there, I have a milk bone, and this milk bone is some, it's small enough to where they can actually eat it. They're medium size. You can get smaller ones if you want to, but these are the ones I had for my older dogs. So, I'm taking one of these, which they can eat. Um, you don't want to give one to them all the time, but they can have them whenever they're going into the crate. So, when I pick them up to go into the crate, I'm making sure... I'm making sure that they know that they're not in trouble in any way, so I'm petting them, telling them they're a good girl or a good boy, and then after that, I'm actually going to let them lick a little bit of this peanut butter off. That way they know that it's a treat and that they're going to get the treat whenever they go into the crate. Once I put them into the crate, I give them this milk bone, and for the most part, they kind of look around and they're like, okay, I'm in the crate, but they're not freaking out yet. So they start licking the peanut butter off and then they slowly start eating the milk bone. And then this just helps them not feel completely overwhelmed. Now, once they get done with the milk bone, then they can turn to the teething ring or anything like that. And then any of the whining, I always greet with hush. I do this not to be overwhelming for them, so probably about 15 minute intervals or so. And I make sure that they finish strong, so I'm not gonna take them out until they have kinda calmed down a little bit. Maybe they're laying down, maybe they're starting to go to sleep. And then after their 15 minute time, I get them out. This is very important. When I get them out, I open up the door, I let them walk out. It gives them a little bit more independence and they know that they're in control of they can come in and out of the crate. It helps it to be more of a safe space and it's not something that I'm shoving them into. It's actually um, they're coming in and out. So I may be putting them in there, but they are coming out on their own. Once they come out, I'm going to put them in my lap. I'm going to snuggle them for a few minutes and really make sure that they, are, they get plenty of praise of you did a great job, good boy, good girl type of thing, lots of cuddles, lots of petting and stuff. And to make sure that they know that it's not a negative thing 
and that's very important for them to know, especially at this stage. So, um, like I said, right now we're mostly doing our 15 minute intervals. Um, my puppies, I've already gone home, obviously have had their over the night session. Um, but I think that this milk bone trick has definitely helped so far because these puppies are really needing something to soothe them immediately because they're freaking out once they get into the crate by themselves. So that's kind of what I've stepped up with. I didn't used to do the milk bone with um, the peanut butter. For the most part, they went in and started chewing on the teething ring. These puppies are just not having it. These puppies will just start whining and howling and getting upset and they don't even look at the teething ring. So I think the peanut butter is a little bit more of a high value treat that they don't get very often. And again, you don't need to give your puppy a lot of peanut butter. That's why I only put it on one side just a little bit. That way they know like, hey, this is a treat. This is nice type of thing. Okay, so that's a little bit about crate training um, for me on this nice day. We'll do a quick view of the puppies kind of just chilling out and playing and then I will get off here. Hi babies. Hi. Are y'all playing? More like napping? Yeah. Good girls. Good boys. Hi Ryder. Hi Tate. Hunter up here on the slide. Hi Dallas. All right everybody have a good day.